Welcome to Introduction to Theater. I'm Professor Seal uh, here to talk to you about theater. Um, thank you for taking this class. I know you could have taken music or art and I'm glad that you chose theater. Um, just a little bit about me. I have a Master's of Fine Arts in theater performance so I'm primarily an actor. Uh, I also do costuming though and this semester um, I'll be directing Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and costuming that as well. So um, I work primarily at Motlow College. That's where I'm directing Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Uh, I'm just adjuncting this one class for Austin P this semester. So when you hear me talking about that, don't get, get confused. You can't, uh, it's all the way down in Lynchburg. But um, yes, uh, it's very exciting for me. So one of the first assignments that I've had you do is watch a movie version of it that was on Broadway so that as I talk about it throughout the semester, as I will obsess like I do, um, you can kind of keep up and follow along. So I love theater, love theater so much. And if by the end of the course you have a little bit of that enthusiasm for theater that I have, I will be a happy camper. So here are some of the things that you can expect, expect as far as assignments in this class. So we have a unit system. I've broken it up into four unit units. So of course you'll have one um, in about a month you'll have an exam and then you'll have a midterm then you'll have another three quarters of the way through and then you'll have an exam at the end of the course. So that's just kind of how I've broken it up into four units. So this first unit has four chapters. So you'll begin by reading those four chapters. And then I have videos um, where I lecture through the book, complete with page numbers. And then I also have supplementary materials. So in theater, it's a very visual art form. So I'll need you to watch some clips um, through the library's website, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So in that unit, you'll have at least one discussion question. So you'll need to go through in the discussions tab on D2L and um, read the question, read what other students have posted about it. Make sure that you read their answers and please don't be redundant. If I see that you're saying the exact same thing as somebody else, I'll ask you to rethink your answer and repost because we don't want to be redundant. We want to build on what other people have already said. So, oh, and there is right now, two get to know you um, discussions in the area that's called the cafe. So if you log in there and answer the inside the actor studio questionnaire, which is nine questions, I left out the one about the cuss word. So uh, if you will answer those questions, we can get to know you a little bit better. There's another activity called two truths and a lie. So if you'll log in and go ahead and start responding to each other and building community, I will greatly appreciate that. Notice that part of your grade is how you participate in those forums. So every quarter you will take a quiz that's 25 questions, multiple choice. Now that quiz is 45 minutes long. So if you have any exceptionalities from uh, that are documented with the Office of Disabilities, let me know and I'll give you extended time. But otherwise, you answer 25 questions in 45 minutes. Uh, please, that's on the honor system. I'm not going to lock down your browser. I'm not going to stand over your shoulder or make you go into the center to take it. So I'm trusting you to close your book and do the right thing. So please uh, respect the academic integrity of the course and be honest as you take your quizzes. So there are two papers that are involved. Um, one is due at the midterm and that is what's called a live production review. So if you are um, in Clarksville, then I highly recommend Austin Peay's performance or uh, Roxy's. You can go into those live theaters. Your ticket at that event is included in uh, your cost for the course. So go ahead and plan now. Money is no excuse. Set aside some cash uh, as you get funding to go to school to see a live production. Um, now if you choose to go see something more expensive like a T-Pack, some Broadway style show like The Lion King, you know that's your own choice. I'm sure you'll have a great experience but for a lot of you it won't be that expensive for you to see a live production. If you are one of our um, soldiers taking the class from abroad, uh, first of all thank you for serving and uh, please email me right away and we'll talk about some options that you can have um, for completing the same assignment through other means. So um, there are instructions in the uh, 
content section about how to write your live production review. There's very specific things that I'm asking for you to look for. And there's also some links to some different local theaters and what's running. So just make sure you get that live production review into me by midterm so that I can begin to evaluate those. Um, those all need to be turned into the Dropbox. They'll go through a plagiarism detection so that I can make sure um, you're not just cutting and pasting articles from the internet. So for your final exam, it's another paper, and that is a character analysis of Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, you can purchase Midsummer Night's Dream if you'd like to. Um, it's available in any bookstore, but you can also just print it off the internet if you'd rather do that. Uh, you just need to be able to have uh, act, scene, and line number. So make sure the version that you get has a line number breakdown so that as you give me clear uh, reference numbers, you have that in your own text. Almost all of them will have a clear act, scene, and line number, but just double checking that. So, um, I know that Shakespeare can be kind of intimidating to some of you, uh, but this is a college level course and I'm sure you are ready to rise to the challenge. So, as you email and discuss with each other and with me, I'm going to ask you to be overly nice, saccharine sweet, what you think is just ridiculously kind. Because what happens when we're in a digital environment is it's really easy to be mean. You don't have to look people in the eyes and uh, it can also be easily misinterpreted. So what you mean sarcastically, well we can't hear your sarcasm. So the other thing that I'm going to ask when you're in the discussion boards or email, uh, especially when you write your paper, use your best grammar, spelling, uh, punctuation, all that needs, you need to practice your scholastic best. Uh, just because you're in a forum similar to what it might look like on Facebook doesn't mean that you can LOL or BRB. Uh, that's not, that's not what, how we're gonna uh, have this class. So please be articulate, be, take time to form and choose your words carefully and practice your best English. Unfortunately, technological difficulties are not going to be an, ex an excuse for this class. Um, the D2L help desk people have been very kind and helpful. Um, I even had trouble with some of the video database and uh, had to get a librarian, but she, after a little while, was able to fix it for me. Um, you know, you just need to make sure that you have the right equipment since you're taking the course. Uh, the thing that I'm going to see most often or I have in the past is that people wait till the last minute. For example, um, my deadlines are always on a Sunday night. So if you wait until Saturday afternoon to watch the video for the first time through the library website and you can't access it, well, they're not probably going to have a library standing by to help you with your technical difficulty. So make sure that you start on those assignments and plenty of time to get technolo technology help from the correct people. Don't call me. I'm not good with technology. My husband helps me with everything and I'm just going to ask you to call the D2L help desk. Um, that said, I've put my cell phone number on the uh, syllabus. There was a responsibility with that. Um, please don't text me, uh, hey girl, what you doing? Uh, you know, that's not appropriate. Um, but if you have a question, feel free to text or call um, at a reasonable hour. And uh, please know that, you know, I might need 24 hours to get back with you. Um, check your email, every, I mean, check your D2L every day just to make sure, check in. It only takes a moment. Um, even if you're finished or uh, not ready to get started yet, you still just want to stay abreast of what's going on in the course. Um, if something's going on in your life, um, you know, big life event, some family member is, um, deathly ill or anything like that, just let me know ahead of time. Um, email me a little heads up, you know, just FYI is a great way to start that email. Please don't wait until after your deadline was due, you couldn't meet your deadline for personal reasons, and then say, oh, well, this has been going on the whole time. Uh, don't do that with any of your courses. Keep us up to date on your life. Let us know we do care, believe it or not. Um, but there are going to be very few excuses that I take in this course. Uh, the deadlines are hard and fast and you need to learn to keep up in a scholarly environment. So um, my proverbial door is always open. Email me. 
uh, text me, call me if you have any questions or concerns, and I'm sure we'll get along just fine in this class. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for taking this course. I look forward to many more in uh, engagements with you, and uh, I hope you have a great afternoon.